Hi, my name is Mashika Bone, and I am the founder of Unspoken Love Foundation. My son is Mark Bone, and he is a 10-year-old handsome young king who just so happened to be diagnosed with autism. Unspoken Love came from um, my son. Mark is nonverbal, so he has a certain way of showing love and it's just so warming. So to me, he speaks, but it's unspoken. We have our ups and our downs. It's the two of us. Um, we just recently lost our father, which is now our guardian, guardian angel, Milton Bone. Once my dad passed as well, his love is still here. I may not be able to hear him physically, but that unspoken in my heart, I still have it. The most challenging thing to raising a child with autism is the understanding. Me understanding as a parent and people understanding as an, an individual. To an average eye, to what we consider normal, he looks normal until an individual starts to talk to him and he won't talk back. I didn't know it at first. Um, I had several family members um, and friends, close friends, to say um, certain things when it comes to, oh, he might be a little late in developing some of the things that he needs to be developing. I didn't want to accept it. I was in doubt. And when it comes to situations like that, you go through all kinds of emotions. I went to the doctors and they said that he has a, a developmental delay. And he was that was his one-year-old checkup. And I was okay, because I started seeing some of the uh, same thing that my family and my friends were seeing as well. But it was an emotional situation that I had to go through. Any parent, when you your child scores a touchdown, you're his biggest cheerleader. Um, to me, with autism, my son um, spelling his name or spelling the word bird <laughs> with the alphabet puzzle pieces or the alphabet pieces, that's a, that's like a touchdown to me. So seeing those different milestones accomplished day by day, that's what the joy comes in. Um, and the greatest rewards are to me and seeing his independence. My favorite movie of all time is Inside Out. It's the Disney movie Inside Out. It's a young girl that um, family has relocated because of her dad's job and by her relocating she's going through all these different emotions it shows each emotion that she went through what we call our to me our conscience talking to us but it shows those emotions and it shows them as different colors and it's was, it was so cute most definitely i recommend you watching that movie because that it, it shows a lot about autistic children but you as an individual alone she has five emotions i don't have one emotion here um but i have green which is considered disgust red which is considered anger blue which is considered sadness and yellow which is considered joy now a lot of times um, with autistic children, they don't know how to express their emotions and they don't, they verbally can't tell you how they're feeling. So with Mark, from my experience, when Mark was around the age of, um, I'm going to say two to three, four, he expressed himself with a lot of anger. And the reason being is during that time he's developing and he couldn't express himself and he couldn't communicate the things that he wanted or the things he needed. So a lot of people looked at him as misbehaving. So that's the reason why I like to express to a lot of the parents that I work with that he's in that stage or she's in that stage that she's probably um, feeling a lot of anger because she can't communicate. So then, just as in that movie, a lot of the emotions start coming in the older they get. They probably get disgusted at a lot of the food that they eat. So those are two emotions that's connected together. And they're sad a lot of the times because they can't express themselves to you. But the best thing about all of this, they do have their joyful moments. And 
we have to celebrate them all when the pieces are together when they're angry moments find joy in that for them that way they'll come out of it so i just want to let you know that all pieces together will actually help them and you express the joy in them and try to find some type of balance for them to be able to communicate with you and help you understand what how what and how they're feeling